everyone, it's Carly and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought that I would give you a little run through of how I get ready when I have quite the breakout sesh happening. This normally wouldn't be a day that I would want to film and turn on a camera and put makeup all over my skin, but I have errands to run and things to do and I don't want to just like hide in my house. I hate feeling like whenever I have a breakout I have to just sit at home and hide away and that's not the truth. Everyone has breakouts, everyone has bad skin days, and you are so much more than what your skin looks like on a bad day. And you deserve to go outside, run an errand, and still feel good about yourself. So I thought that I would just turn on my camera and show you guys how I do my makeup when I am dealing with problematic skin. I am prone to breakouts, especially when things are kind of tough. And as you guys can see, I have a few marks. Um, all over my face and it is a month before our wedding so I'm trying to calm down I'm trying not to stress about little things and that goes with just my self-confidence oosh not when I'm doing this mm -mm -mm -mm. so yeah I'm trying to calm down I'm trying to love my skin embrace it and just relax it's not the end of the world to have a couple spots on your skin and if I have breakouts on the wedding day like it's called makeup, it's called Photoshop, thank you so much. But honestly, Sebastian knows what I look like. He loves me either way, and I'm I'm really not worried about it at all. I just know right now my skin is like very inflamed. I think because I am so nervous. So I'm trying to relax, and I thought that they would just be fun. So, um, the first thing that I just do when any time I put on any sort of makeup is I'm gonna start with a lip balm, and this is the Glossier Mint Balm.com. I freaking love this stuff. Look at this little tube. I did talk about the packaging. It's not my favorite, to be honest. Like, it's just, I love this stuff so much, but it's not practical to take outside of the house, you know? So, we are all done on our lips. And I did want to let you know, I fully um, did all my skincare routine. If you guys would like a updated skincare routine, give this video a thumbs up, and I'd be happy to do that for you. So the first thing that I'm going to do is prime my skin after my skincare. And... The primer that I'm using today is the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. I really love this. I think it just starts off my skin with such a nice base for my foundation. So I'm just going to rub this in. And I think the key to my skincare routine when I am breaking out is to keep the moisture. That is why I'm using... I literally... Ugh. You guys, every time I turn on my camera all by myself, I feel like it's the last time anyone's going to see me because I just hear these people in my house. Um, I feel like the key to my skincare routine when I do have breakouts is to use a lot of moisturizing products. So that's why I go with the moisturizing primer. And that's also why I'm going to prime my skin as well with the Wet n Wild Coconut Priming Water. This just adds a lot of moisture back inside my skin. And I don't want those breakouts to dry out. Beautiful. Okay, after that is done, um, I have all of my priming stuff on my skin, and now I'm going to go with the base. I really love to wear just like a simple foundation, especially when my skin is acting up. I feel like my natural instincts wants to put on like a ton of foundation, a matte foundation, cover it up, but I want it to heal, so I have to like just be brave and just put a little bit of foundation on. Just to give myself a little bit more of an even skin tone, I'm going to go in with the Bye Bye Foundation, and this has an SPF 50, which is super important, especially when I'm going out of the house and running errands, and I love this one. This is from It Cosmetics, and it's one of my favorites because even though it says it's a foundation, I feel like it's not um, like crazy coverage, which sounds weird because I'm trying to like, you know, bulk myself up to go out in public with breakouts, but it just gives my skin a nice even complexion. I still feel like this foundation, you can see my skin through it, so it looks more healthy, more natural, really glowy, which is what I love about this foundation. Sorry, I don't think, I'm pretty sure this is not the right shade for me. I think I'm a little bit fair, but we'll do our best. I'm going to remember to take it down my neck because it's not the greatest. I mean, it's not too bad of a mismatch, but just in case we're going to bring it down. So I haven't done my forehead yet, but I don't know if you can see. Like, you can still see my breakouts. You can still see my skin through it. And I think that's totally, totally okay. Especially when you're trying to heal. There's nothing worse than, like, a dried out 
breakout sesh on your face if you know what I mean so if anything I think it even looks so much better when your skin is healthy and glowy even though you still have those breakouts I think it just makes it look a little bit softer especially for the daytime and running errands okay so we have our base done again super natural super glowy I really love it but you can see like I still can see all my breakouts through this foundation and that was just one layer I didn't go heavy with it I didn't do this foundation is super buildable but I just wanted to keep it at that one layer minimum um, especially since I'm trying to heal my skin next we're gonna go in with concealer and the concealer that I'm using today is my elf HD lifting concealer I really love this I think it's a nice sheer consistency so I love to use it on the days where I want a little bit of coverage, but I don't want to dry out those breakouts. Um, the second one that I use on a daily basis is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I love this stuff. It is so heavy duty and that's why I normally would wear this like when I'm going to work or night out. Um, but the reason I'm not wearing it today is because it's so heavy duty. I want to give my skin a little bit more room to just breathe underneath all of this makeup. So we're going to say no to this one for today. So I'm going to do a little bit under my eyes. Then I'm going to take this all over my problem areas and it's definitely along my chin. That is where I get all my breakouts. In my last video, I talked about my little breakout here on my forehead. And if you saw, I used a peach slice little acne spot and now it's almost gone. So. We're feeling good about that. We're gonna take our beauty blender and just start blending that away. Okay, so we are completely blended through. As you can see, the concealer is on. You can still see my breakouts uh, through the makeup because as good as makeup is, it's not going to completely cover it or get rid of something, but I really love that concealer because it is on the sheer side. Again, I just did one layer of it. Kept it, again, still with the foundation with just a one layer, and I really love it. I think it just helps even out my skin tone even more, but doesn't suck all the moisture out and dry out that breakout. And now we are going to set our foundation, and I have two powders that I normally use and go back um, and forth between. Um, the first one is a Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder and this one I love because it gets in there, it really sets everything, it helps not to crease my makeup throughout the day. But I'm not going to be using this today because this can make my skin a little bit more on the matte side and I definitely don't want that look. The one I'm going to go with today is the Lancome Absolute Powder. This one I love because it just lays on my skin a lot better when I'm wearing something that's a little bit more dewy. It doesn't mattify it. It just nicely sets it so I'm not so oily throughout the day. So I'm just going to take some on a brush and just pat that along. I'm really going to pat this on the areas that I concealed, of course, just to make sure that doesn't crease up and it stays put throughout the day. What I love about this setting powder is even though I am setting my foundation it doesn't hide the fact that this is a dewy glowy foundation skin look you can still continue to see my skin through this foundation which is what I really want and really love the next step would normally be to bronze or contour but I'm not gonna do that today because I do have a lot of the breakouts like where my contour would lie and I just don't want to deal with that today. If you did have like a cream bronzer, I would definitely go in with that. I don't have one, which is kind of sad to me, but I'm not going to do any of that today. I'm just going to put on a nice shimmery blush because I feel like even though I have breakouts there, like it, it doesn't look as bad because the blush is red. <laughs> so I'm just going to dot on just a little bit just to bring back life into my cheeks. There's our blush, and I just think that like already makes it look so much better, so summery and spring-like. That's all I'm going to do for my skin. I'm not even going to highlight because, again, I don't want to attract all of that texture even more. Um, last thing I am going to do, though, is spray again with the Wet n Wild Coconut Water. 
and I feel like again that just adds another layer of that moisture that we need back into our skin especially on a breakout day and look at just how glowy and pretty I am obsessed with this makeup look it just makes me feel more alive and awake but not like I caked on so much makeup to try and hide the fact that yeah I'm having a crappy week and I broke out um, I still feel like myself like if someone were to come up to me and talk to me I'm still confident in talking to them but I just feel more natural and awake I'm not gonna show my eyebrow and mascara just because I feel like I wouldn't want to show that anyway it's so boring but that's the next step that I'm gonna do before I walk out the door um, but just quickly I want to show you what lip product I'm gonna use because I still want to go with like that natural effortless look um, but I want a little bit of color on my lips chapstick moisture tint in the shade coral blush and I love this my mom gave this to me and it's so beautiful so I just like to dot a little bit and then spread it out and then there you go that is all I'm gonna do for my face today I hope that you guys enjoy kind of seeing what I do to try and pick myself up so I can go out run these errands and not let breakouts get the best of me I know how difficult it is to try and like feel good about yourself when you look in the mirror and you're like "Ugh, my skin is bad again I deal with it so often I have like the week of good skin and then I'll have bad skin and then I'll have good skin. So it's just a cycle and for me this is what has helped me feel my best. You don't have to wear makeup to feel beautiful and to feel your best. I don't want that to come across this way on this video. But I just wanted to give kind of my tips um, for just like a nice effortless hydrated foundation look. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and give the video lots of love and also leave your tips for us down in the comments. I would love to know what you guys do when you're not feeling your best and how you pick yourself back up. Makeup for me is so fun and it's something I love and enjoy but it's hard on a day when you don't have the best skin. So this is what I've found that helps me out. I hope that you guys have found some helpful tips and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Yeah.